this uh, subjectivity uh, I think is going to somehow come into this uh, talk, but I have to say it's not my subjectivity, um, which I'll explain in a minute. But I was earlier just at the Renaissance Society and uh, I saw this um, uh, brochure that they had there. And I don't know if you, you know, most of you can't see it from where you are, but he's wearing a t-shirt and it says, and what is drawing for and why write well? And that's sort of uh, kind of what my uh, talk here is about. And the way it came about is that I've had a number of uh, different projects that I've invol been involved in recently that involved writing about drawing and of different types and uh, different times and so on. But uh, so I've been thinking a lot about drawing. And uh, one of the projects was a text for, uh, for a book uh, of drawings by a Korean artist called Lee Bull. And then another occasion was uh, a kind of panel discussion on a show of drawings, which I believe you can still see now at the Art Institute uh, of this, of a collection of drawings that was put together by a man called uh, Harry Sten. And those are drawings mostly uh, from the kind of 60s and 70s American artists to do with geometrical abstraction and uh, minimalism and conceptual art, but going uh, backwards and forwards historically a bit from there as well. And then uh, the third one uh, are the drawings that, that uh, you're seeing here. And this, these are uh, for a retrospective of drawings uh, by an artist called Raphael Ferrer. And so you're uh, just these drawings that are going by and I, get, I think they'll just continue going by uh, as I talk uh, because I'm not speaking about them specifically, really uh, cover about 55 years of work uh, or more from the mid-50s until the present. He's um, uh, an artist born in Puerto Rico in the, I forget the year, but in the early 30s. Um, so he's about, he's about 80 now or getting close to 80 and uh, so they, they start from when he's you know quite young man in his 20s uh, uh, up until the present. And as I was uh, thinking about these different projects to do with writing about drawing, uh, I thought it would be interesting to help myself by collecting some uh, quotations uh, about drawing you know, different views about drawing from different sources. Uh, and as I start to do that, I quickly realized uh, that in order to comb all those sources and, and find them and so on was really a huge uh, task. And it would be much easier if I would just make up the quotations uh, myself. And so now, aside from any of these particular things, I have this kind of uh, ongoing project and um, I'm hoping uh, eventually to arrive at 144 uh, quotations. Somehow I decided that that's the right number. And uh, I'm, I'm almost there. And uh, funny enough, there are 143 of these images of uh, Raphael Ferrer's. Plus there's one more that's not his that I might show you at the end to make it 144 to go with the number of, of quotes that I'm going to have. So, so uh, you know, as I go through these sayings, uh, maybe, it would be, or mottos, or uh, epigrams, uh, or whatever, uh, I want you to imagine uh, that they each separately have, you know, quotation marks around them, and they're coming from, from different people, and so they, they, they don't agree with each other. They, they disagree with each other at, at different points, but uh, maybe the points on which they disagree are the, you know, are the point of the, uh, of the exercise. So these are uh, some anonymous quotations about drawing. A drawing is the nervous system of an entity that does not yet otherwise exist. 
Certain drawings make you think of nothing but drawing. These are not necessarily the best ones, but they are the ones you may be least able to forget. All points are imaginary and so are most lines. There are sketches for imaginary buildings and a writer's notes may be sketches for an imaginary essay. A drawing is a conspiracy between the hand and the eye. Some drawings wear dark glasses. The hesitations that go to make up certainty reveal themselves in a line. Drawing happens when a pencil stumbles over a crack in the sidewalk while it's looking ahead at a point in the distance. To draw is a way of erasing the drawing you have in mind. When you see what it is a drawing of, you no longer see the drawing. It is possible to turn a sheet of paper inside out, isn't it? A drawing is the future under a magnifying glass. But also, on paper, finished things can be disassembled. The marks are there to make the paper look good. They are merely trying to occur. They are checking whether the ground of reality can support them. A drawing is a conspiracy between the eye and the mind. You can taste a drawing. It is dry but liquefies and becomes absorbable when you lick it with the tongue of your eye. A straight line vibrates. Ink is a liquid shadow, pencil a dry shadow. If the paper is white, the line is backlit. Where two faces of a crystal meet, a contour. If you stumble while carrying a pile of drawings from one table to another, some of them may rustle in the air like startled pigeons. A single line is voluptuous, but when they gather together, they grow grave and austere. What's more evanescent than a solid line? A sheet of paper is a kind of theater. A drawing is a, is a window and also the breaking of the window. The page is no longer opaque. Some drawings are woven by spiders to catch their prey in the finest, most delicate of filaments, others built out of sticks by birds to shelter their offspring. Information is not dependent on resemblance. The paper is there to make the marks look good. Either all lines are variations on some one line, or every line is a unique performance, or both. A construction site on a Sunday, absolutely quiet. You can see all the equipment without hearing the din. Abstraction, a game. Representation, a double game. In certain drawings, where the choice seems to have been put off, rules are followed or violated at will. The game is still under construction. Today, drawing seems to offer only two possibilities, both self-destructive. Not to worry about being art or to worry about it excessively, playing hide and seek with itself. A drawing that looks you straight in the eye has something to hide, but the ones that try to slip your gaze, ah, they show everything. The marks are there to make the idea seem plausible. One hand watches the other. If the eye is curved, then what do you mean by a plane? A sculpture can be translated into English, but a drawing into E prime. By the way, I, I probably have to explain E prime. Some 
a philosopher in the, I think in the 40s, uh, suggested that it would be a, a worthwhile endeavor to invent an alternative version of English in which uh, the verb to be and all of its various uh, uh, forms would not exist and uh, supposedly that was going to uh, be a more logical kind of language and that was called E prime. It's not necessarily the best artist who makes the best drawings. A drawing without any shading is like a song without words. For the sculptor, drawing is a working voc vacation. So to shadow as though it were not at all shadowed is best shadowed. The idea is there to make the marks look necessary. To turn a crystal about in your hand, observing face after face, never being sure whether you are once again seeing the same face twice but from a slightly different angle is already to have begun drawing it. How to make the paper push back. A drawing is a network, a multiplicity, and in principle should never be referred to in the singular. To assemble almost everything in almost nothing. Opaque and transparent are words whose application to drawing is indeterminate. It's not necessarily an artist who makes the best drawings. Taking with one hand and giving with the other. Taking with one eye and giving with the other. A simple diagram may possess an involuntary eloquence. To draw a distinction twice has the same effect as drawing it once. To draw a distinction twice has the same effect as drawing it once, only more so. There are drawings with burning eyes, others blurred by their welling tears. To draw a distinction twice has the same effect as drawing it once, only in a diluted manner. On the scale of possibility, a drawing is larger than a monument. Sketch it when it is already perfected in your mind and watch it dissolve. At times, one is convinced that even fog has a crystalline structure. Just as you can draw a letter, you can write a picture. A line lags behind the hand that draws it. When you sharpen your pencil, you might already be drawing. It depends what happens after that. Drawings made by the blind as reminders to themselves for after the restoration of their eyesight. As digging tools go, a pencil can be better than a shovel. Sometimes you have to be willing to play their game, but sometimes they are playing their game with you. The best part of a drawing is invisible. Drawing is for foxes. The hedgehog doesn't draw, only paints. If you don't know what a thing is, try to draw it and see if it becomes something else, something you might now be able to identify. If the drawing fits the page, the page may be too large. A drawing is a difference of opinion between the eye and the mind. No statement concerning, a drawing, concerning drawing is consistently true, including this one. There would be no drawing if the surface to be drawn on offered no resistance to the drawing implement. 
wax crayon and thaw on paper, pencil and melted geometry on paper, teeth grinding and ink on paper. The word humane has never entered the vocabulary of drawing. A thought leaves a mark as evidence that it has been there. The mark provokes a thought that calls the evidence into question. How to draw with a hammer. The best part of a drawing is what's already there. If a statement could be true of drawing, it would have to be true of everything else, too. If a line marks the edge of something, what marks the edge of a line? Drawing is a special mathematics in which 1 plus 1 equals 3, because if you have a surface, 1, and add a mark, 1 more, you already have 3, the two portions of the surface distinguished by the mark plus the mark. Black and white have no scent, but gray, yes. Certain lines keep crossing back and forth as if they'd forgotten something over there. A story can't be told, but only retold, and likewise a picture can't be drawn, but only redrawn. Is drawing to a close a contradiction in terms? There is an art for those who find the mechanism, mechanism of an old watch more beautiful than its ornate casing. As I can learn to interpret your silence, I can learn to interpret your drawing. Drawing as a form of insomnia. Some drawings come with instructions for use, but most drawings need them. Who is your drawing for? Sometimes she knows who she is and sometimes she doesn't. Tearing a photograph to bits is one way to make a drawing out of it. A drawing can be the start of a painting in the way that an aphorism can be the start of an essay or an observation the start of a story. The most tenuous line cuts most sharply. The story behind a drawing is only a subtext. There are drawings played upon a flute, solo, but one scored for full orchestra, tub tubas and kettle drums included, is still a drawing. Some drawings, drawings seek and some drawings flee. Some artists draw the way some athletes practice. Other artists draw the way some athletes smoke. Some artists draw the way some writers read. A drawing is a difference of opinion between the hand and the eye. Some drawings are like prayers that you mumble in church on Sunday, others more like the one that might have been on the tip of your tongue as your car skids off the road and you see a concrete retaining wall coming at you. Try not to have to make either kind. Certain drawings are hot to the touch. There's something shady about halftones. Do we ever grasp a form so vividly as when we feel it escaping our grasp? Impatience disciplines the line. Some marks are like excuses. Lines with a sense of touch or lines with a sense of sight. Expansive brevity. To adumbrate the space in which the world can be reconfigured. When the line springs back into the page, 
melting into clarity. Liquid wire inscribed with crystal. Thanks. <laughs>